I'm back with Daniel and Amber at Fifth and Fines in Marysville, California. How are you doing, Daniel? It's good to be back. Yeah, we're great today. It's really nice sunny day here in California, and it is hot. Good, yeah, that's okay. Hot's great. So nice to see you. You know what? Right when we started, I want to look at canister sets. Any canister sets there? Yeah, uh, yeah. that's what I yeah. like. Yeah, um, you know, so we copper, have copper and metals are coming back big. Copper and metals are coming back big. So it's sugar, flour, coffee, tea, right? Correct. Yes, they're uh, they're a little, uh, I guess, patina on them. No, I don't I, know. <laughs> I like the color. I like the copper color very much. Of course, that goes gets revived in the 1970s and revived again now. So what I like about that, remember the old canister sets, Amber? They had a lot of canisters. They had salt. They had they had all kinds of spices, they had barley, they had all kinds of stuff. Remember those? No. <laughs> you don't remember those? Well, you're in those antique shops. You see, there's you oftentimes the canister set could have as many as 24 different canisters oh, wow. for all the spices. And of course, by then after World War II, we start to see smaller canister sets: coffee, tea, sugar, flour. That's it. That's a nice set. How much for that set? We were doing $15 on the copper set. And oh my a, gosh, you can't do $15 on the copper set. I wasn't sure if I needed to polish them up or just leave them how they no, are. No, no, no. Leave them alone. Don't polish them. Leave them just as they are. There's no dents in them, right? I, I don't believe so. No, none. It's just oh a little. Oh my gosh. They're two tone. They're brass and copper, 1970s. Oh, those are beautiful. 55 65 bucks for the set. Daniel, keep going. Let's see what else Noted. we got. <laughs> You're um, going to thrift with Dr. Lori today. Oh, so we, uh, we got some dolls. We got some figurines. Yeah, figurines. Okay. They're a little creepy. Let's see the figurines. Go back to those. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's creepy. He Don't and the she there. Some I, of you, I believe so, too. <laughs> some of you might like them. I think they're a little creepy. <laughs> uh, what, what era do you think they're from? There's no oh, markings on them. They're probably from the 70s. They're creepy. Okay. Keep going. Yeah, I'm getting creepy. nervous. <laughs> yeah. And this is oh, some kind of visitor oh, tourist right. souvenir. Let's look at the blue white. Yeah, okay. that's a resin souvenir, not too valuable. This, I like the blue white very much. This um, one here? I, like, I don't like that piece as much as I like the other two. The other, yeah. the one I really like is not the ewer that your hand's on, it's the one in the middle. That's the one that I like very much. Yeah, that one I like very much for a lot of reasons. I like the fact that it's got that nice big bold flower. I like the fact that you have some of the blue is very, very dark, some of the blue lighter. Not tremendously high value, but you know, this is about finding some bargains, some thrifting pieces. How much would you pay for that one? I, I believe it was 17 is what it was. 17 is good. I think it's worth about 20. That's a nice piece too. Okay. That's a nice piece too. How about the crochet piece? I crochet, I love crochet. And crochet so, and craft pieces are coming back really strong. That's my really, wife's wow, good wow. Crochet talented, too. talented to do that. That's nice. What do you think of that? Do you have dolls um, that you put that on, Daniel? <laughs> I do. Uh, I can show you the doll for that one, but <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> the doll is also very creepy. Uh, I like that. I like that. Um, Not as creepy yeah. as those figurines. I didn't like those guys. Uh, I don't like that. <laughs> All right. That, those are cute. It also are has cute. some age to it, I believe, too. I think you're right. I think a little bit of age to that. That's nice. Now, what's in this next area? Let's zoom in there and see what yeah, we've got. So we have some. Let's go here. Um, no, the bottles? Well, perfume. Oh. Um, perfume you know, we do, estate, we do estate sales and the leftover perfume bottles, you know, they're more upper style, you know, richy type perfumes sometimes. So we put them here. We do have sales on those as well. Wow, nice. You know, people sell the perfume, just the perfume itself in vials. I talk about this a lot, as well as the perfume bottles. So, you know, I would not be surprised if somebody comes in there and scoops up all those perfume bottles with the perfume and then literally sells it on eBay or other places for the from vials of the, you know, vintage scent. Do you want to smell like you're on Helen? Do you want to remember the, the scent that you're looking <laughs> for? People do that. So I think that right there is a money, that's a money shelf right there. That's a couple hundred dollars in perfume bottles and the perfume inside, if you can market them properly. A lot of people do. I'd go $300, $400 right there in those wow. perfume bottles and the scent. You better watch those videos so you know, in fact, about them. I had a whole big video on perfume bottles. Okay, keep going. That one, you gotta, you gotta reprice any of that. Tell me about these jewelry boxes. I like those. 
Uh, Julia Rogers, this one here, I, I, I fancy this one. It does yeah. have a, um, it's in there, I cannot bring it up. But when you open it, it also has a music player in it. It's got uh, a few few shelves, uh, drawers in there. The top does not open. Um, okay. I believe, I believe maybe 1960s, maybe. Can you take out a, does the drawer come all the way out? Yes. Only because I'd like to see, are they separated? Like, are the drawers separated inside? Oh, yes, or? definitely. And if you, well, then... The thing with the music box, I do have a little gold chain that's wrapped up in it that I've been trying to get out gently. Oh, yeah. okay. But yes, well, can uh, I see the, the inside of the drawer that you pulled out? Okay, so there's no separator inside the drawer. That's for sort of the bigger pieces. Maybe one of the other drawers has a separator. I uh, like that nope. jewelry box. That's very cute. Very cute. Oh, well, how much is that? Uh, you know, I, I did some a little bit of research on it. I have it for uh, $65. Yeah, that's very good. I like that very much. I think that's a good price for it too, retail. That's good. I like that. Then we have a, a bigger one also. It's, it is missing a, a drawer. I'm not sure what happened there. Oh, um, okay. It's got a music box too as well. Dr. Lori, this one here. I well, that one's not so bad. The one that is missing the drawer is not so bad because when you close the doors, you can't really see it. Right. You know, I'm sure a smart DIYer could fix that one up. Oh, this one's nice with the mirror. I like a jewelry box with a mirror, you know? Yeah, you know, Dr. Lori, I looked it up and I thought maybe it was for a dollhouse because of the mirror, but I'm not really sure. No, it's never... way too big. Way too big for a dollhouse. Yeah. And then, of course, we have it there for $25. I think that's a little low. Um, I think that's a little low. I like the mirror very much. You know, even in the recommended jewelry boxes that we have on the website under the specials and shop page, I have them, and I chose the ones that have a mirror. I like to see while you're putting it on. Oh, does that look right? Does that not look right? So all of those with a mirror are nice, and I like those. Trinket boxes are always popular. Do you sell a lot of trinket boxes, Daniel? I always sold a few, not too many, but yeah. Okay. okay. Um, I think trinket this one, boxes I guess, are nice. And I you know, one, that I'm one's sorry. nice. Yep, yep, yep. The one that I oftentimes see is the gray one. It's gray metal. It's in the back. It's round. It's on the shelf below the shelf that you're on. And when you take it up, that's actually for powder, not jewelry. You take it off, and then the, the pressed powder is there. I've seen, if I've seen one of those, I've seen a thousand. How much are you pricing that at? Thirty-five dollars. Okay, that's about what they typically are between thirty and thirty-five dollars for that piece. That's right. That's a nice piece too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here's, a, here's another. What a fun shop. Oh, here's all another. kinds of things to shop for. We love it. It's almost like Christmas every time we open a new box. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. Let's see some China. Wow, look at the Lennox. Yes. <laughs> nice, nice. How? What have you got, a service for eight, a service for 12 of the Lennox? I believe it's a service for eight with a few extra pieces. I really like the gold tone. You know, I like a classic, basic um plate i like a basic plate china service dinnerware service i don't know it's pretty when you have the flowers but i like basic i think that's very classic and beautiful with the gold rim around it you've got a very large set very large set and then you've also got of course the marks and the marks are always important the marks on this one i like oh you'd be shopping with me on that there's the gold tone lennox that's nice the tuxedo pattern right on it when you're looking at of course um a lot of these when you're looking at these marks, I want you to look at the color as well as what the mark says and reads. But I want you to also look at the color of the mark because a lot of the manufacturers will change the color too as you go through. A lot of tips that we're giving you as well. So how much do you have this set? I guess you have service for service for eight with some ex additional pieces. Is that what you have? Correct. We have a, a, an extra uh, teacup and then s uh, several extra saucers and plates, smaller and then plates. Uh, we are asking $2,500 to start. Oh, okay. Would you negotiate from there? Because that's pretty Oh, high. yes, definitely. Definitely. We would take okay. a very negotiable offer. Okay, because that, I mean, it's very nice. You do have the, you do have the serving, a lot of the serving pieces, big bowls, covered casseroles and such, but yes. then there's that. Hey, Daniel, I noticed that you changed your shirt while we were on our break. You it is fun. very hot in California, and I had to, Dr. Lori. <laughs> is it hot, honey? Well, I hope you're comfortable. Thanks for shopping with us for thrifting with Thank Dr. You. Lori. I'm, I'm happy that you're doing that. Notice the sauce bowl over there. Not a gravy boat, but a sauce bowl. Two edges, remember. If you've got two ways to get into the sauce, Bernays or Bordelais, those kinds of sauces, that's what you see in there. Gravy boats usually have a handle. But, you know, you can put gravy in that, too. Let's see I, I thought what so, else yes. You've got. Let's see what else you've got in the shop. 
Let's go back over to the wall. Yeah. I know you're all uh, saying, oh, he changed his shirt. He changed his shirt. You guys are, you wouldn't <laughs> miss anything. I know it. Oh, oh, God. Oh, something like this, Dr. Lori. A million of those. I've seen a million of those. Very, very popular with, of course, our GIs coming back from Southeast Asia, Vietnam, and even Korea. A lot of those sets, um, they're usually brass. Sometimes they're marked made in Siam. Some of them uh, made in Thailand. Some of them are marked in that way, Siam, what we call Thailand. Um, but basically, those are pretty, pretty typical. I see a lot of those. Those sets, what, how much do you have those, that whole set with the case price? Oh, well, oh, yeah. Um, $350. $350. It also has a second. I'm sure you know that it has an extra. Well, I know, but we all want to see. So, yeah. yeah and then nice. plus the locking key. Yep, well. very, that's nice. I think that there's some interest in that. I think it's a little bit high at 350. I think it's in the 200, 225 range. But again, okay. you know, you know your clients in your area. Let's keep going. That's a nice piece. I also like to have the box. I like to put everything away. I'm very, very type A. I like everything to be neat and tidy. Oh, let's go oh, into yeah, some sorry. of those shelves. Oh, Daniel, don't walk by. Let's go in and see. How about the chicken at the top? Let's look at the chicken. <laughs> this one here? Oh, it's yeah. Very, it reminds fun. me of the Angry Birds. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of Angry Birds. Yeah, yeah, cool. So, so cool. It is a bank yeah, with cool. the rubber stock. Like that. Um, Not all that old, but it reminds, no. me of, it reminds me of piggy banks. Did you have a piggy bank, Dan? I did. I did. Yeah. I had a donkey as well. <laughs> yeah. I had a piggy bank. We were very diligent about the piggy bank. I actually still throw all my coins, you know, at the end of the day, clean out the pocketbook. I throw all my coins into a piggy bank. Do you do that? You know, pennies make dollars, my mother would say. Exactly. We uh, like to fill up our, uh, you know, the wine, uh, the water bottles oh, and yeah. uh, take, them in, take them into the casinos and have them changed out. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Let's see what else you've got there. I like the shoe. I've talked the about shoe. shoes and other, of course, thrift yes. with me with Dr. Lori's. I like the ceramic shoe. Oh, yeah. oh, I know what. I like the panels. It's all panels on that on that bottle. It's all panels of gold. You see that? Oh, yes. I, I like that. No, next to that. Yeah, right there. Yes, oh, yes. that's nice. I like that. Yeah. So how much is that priced at? Um, yeah, I have to turn it over to take a look. For price. Uh, 5 dollars is what we have it at. A little high, but I probably would negotiate you down a little bit. I might go, hey, will you take three? You know, but we're probably, always negotiating. Yeah, probably we always negotiate. Four. Well, you know what? A lot of folks always negotiate. And the idea is, you know, sometimes it's just as easy as, hey, you want to do that. Get in close there, Amber. Let's look down that shelf. Close and let's go a little slower. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, you talk like a lot about a lot of elephants on your programs, too. I think that was well, cute. That was elephant there. You know what? With me with the elephant, if you want to go back to the elephant, with me with the elephant, we had elephants in my home. There was a kind of a makeshift mantle, and my mom would put all of her elephants up, and she always thought they were good luck. There's an elephant here that is my mother's as well, that I sometimes have something for my family around the studio when I can. But um, elephants are a lot of fun. Now, that elephant that you have there on the shelf, what material is that? This one or this one? Either one. Okay, I, I believe it's... Like they're ceramic. Yeah, they're ceramic. Or, yeah. I don't... Yeah. I like the one in the front. I like the dog. Look at the dog with the bow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's nice too. Oh, and look, you know what else is popular? Um, the wedding pieces. The little wedding bride and groom bud vase is cute. That's very cute. I like that. It's with the gold trim, yes. Yeah, so I'm assuming those are in the 5 to 10 range or are those in the 10 to 20 range? <laughs> we have it at $1.99. And what a deal. That's a deal. And that's a deal for wedding things, right? Wedding things are oftentimes they go up and down with the wedding season. So I like that too. Let's keep going. What else, Amber? Amber, what's your pick? What's your favorite? What do you like? Um, on, the, on the rack or I like the furniture better. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's keep going. Let's see. So she prefers the furniture. We'll have to look at some of Amber's furniture when we get there. Nice. These are cute. Shelves. So it's hard to get them all in one Here's an frame. interesting piece, and I believe it's a penguin with gold coloring and white ceramic. Uh, I have not been able to find anything about him. Uh, well, do you anything. like him? Let's start with that. I, I love penguins. The, let's start with the emotion. Why do you love penguins? Oh, uh, you know, I, just the attachment of the uh, <laughs> the attachment uh, of the 
belly. Uh, I remember I kind of, you look like that in a tuxedo myself. <laughs> oh, gosh, you're funny. That's funny. Well, you know, everybody has a reason why they like certain animals of the natural world. You know, I was a swimmer always, and so I like fish. I like to be in the water, that kind of thing. Penguins, some people like penguins because of the unity they have with their own families. You know, mm -hmm. penguins are pretty interesting. I like that a lot. Is there a mark on the bottom of this penguin? Um, I don't believe so. We have no. it at a price of, uh, what is it? Yeah, I think it's 10 uh, I'm sorry, let me, $10, $10, I think that's nice for that penguin because it looks like that actually, you know, have some gilt work on the ceramic is pretty nice. Now me, I don't like, I don't like metals when it has to do with like, I don't like a frosted glass and I don't like a uh, ceramic with a metal cause I might taste the metal, you know? So I'm not crazy about that, but that little, um, that little sauce pour, you know, yeah. that little piece. I associate it with this one because it, this one is actually a haul, and I know that's pretty popular. Um, I don't know much about the uh, insignia on that. Hall is the American pottery manufacturer, and a lot of people look for Hull or Hall or McCoy or those, those American pottery manufacturers that made all kinds of kitchen Anna, all kinds of kitchenware. So that's a nice mm. piece. Probably that's the only haul we have here. On that. How about some accessories? How about shoes, boots, purses? Okay. If we come on down here. They're racing through. I want to see it all. See, I like boots. I like boots. My calves are fat, so it's hard for me to get into boots, but I like boots. When I see leather, I like boots. I like the smell. I like the look. I like the color. I love boots. <laughs> I think boots are great. Oh, look at the purses. Okay, let's not go so fast. Oh. Sorry. How about, the, how about the green and the pink? Pull that out. This goes back to the 1980s, right? Yes, of course. And the, the martini oh glasses. God. With the cocktails. <laughs> yeah, the pink and green. Nice. And, the lime. Remember, and I don't know, a Amber might remember the pocketbooks. They were those pocketbooks. They were wood on the top, and then you, could, you had buttons, and you could, change out, you could change out the bottom portion, you know? So I like, like a those. purse skirt? Yeah, they're like versatile. We, I like those. How about the have, red? And, how about the red and the white? Don't go too fast. We got a shop, Amber. <laughs> oh, I like that. That's nice. That's it's nice. So That's big. You can throw everything in there. Yeah. <laughs> throw everything that, in there. I like that. It feels yeah. like a uh, like a vinyl of some sort. How um, about a name? How about a the purple up there on the top, or the white? You know, white's always classic. The that's, purple is kind of like, yeah, that's an interesting bag. That's a That bag has a vintage look, you know, has a vintage look, that particular bag. Yeah, yeah. let's just look at, let's look at that a minute. Okay. Before you put it back, Daniel, you haven't shopped for purses much, have you? <laughs> I, I stand around shopping and I have to hold on to them very often. Let's see, yeah. So we have the paper in just to keep it warm. Yeah, we'll but take your time. Cool. Let's just Oops. see the outside. Can you move your um, left hand so we can just see it just like that? Yeah, nice. That's a nice purse. Can we just see the back? Can you just turn it over on the back? Yes, look how and much you can see it. The purple is a pop of color. That's a nice piece. I like that very much. And even if they're from the nine, 1990s, they don't have to be all the way back to the 60s. Even if they're from the 90s or the early 2000s, you're looking at some vintage pieces. I like a pocketbook with some color. I like that. And I like the fact with the ruffle. And I also like the fact that you can fit everything in there because that's how my pocketbook is. Throw all the stuff in there and then just dig. I'm always digging <laughs> into the pocketbook. <laughs> Yeah. All right. What other one do we like? Let's see. Uh, Let's see. Amber is Amber is pointing this one out. Maybe let's try Let's this see one. this one. Amber has oh, good taste. Let's. See. Oh, Amber, I like that. Nice construction. That's beautiful. How much is that pocketbook? Uh, it's. I guess it's not a purse. Smaller a purse as pocketbooks are bigger. Almost a tote, really. Yes, it, it is a purse. It's a, a, a maybe a faux wicker. Uh, she has a price on it for $29.99. Well, it's seven. woven, but it doesn't look like it's reed. It doesn't look like it's wicker. It looks like it's more of a uh, leather type of material, right? Um, it's just that I it's a woven it's, detail. Yeah, it's woven detail, definitely. And there's the uh, logo and who on it. it. 
Well, Talbot's back when Talbot's, of course, made some nice pieces. So that's probably a 1990s. Talbot's has changed a lot um, over the years. I remember Talbot's, of course, in Connecticut anyway, you know, Talbot's in Connecticut was an experience. You'd go into Talbot's and all the ladies, if you were a young girl, all the ladies wouldn't be that nice to you. They wouldn't be mean, <laughs> but they wouldn't be that nice to you. They weren't like, oh, yeah, you're here. But then, you know, if your mother walked in, then all of a sudden they were very nice. So, you know, it, it was kind of they wanted to focus on the older women. Uh, that particular piece, you said $29.99 for the Talbot's pocketbook from the 80s, early 90s. That pocketbook's probably worth $55 today. Yeah. Wow. I like okay. the blue one. That's what I meant about the handle. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. So different tones of the handles. Uh, look at that. Look at that craftsmanship with respect to the blue textile. That's hard to do. So that's a nice yeah. piece, too. How it much looks for to that? Me, maybe, uh, let's see. We have a price. And open this up. Here. Uh, it looks All like right, it's crocheted. Oh, I love it. How much? At twenty nine ninety nine as well. Okay, so that's nice. I like that one too. I'd probably be around forty dollars for that one. That's nice. That's a good one. Yeah. So that's cool. And then if it has, of course, a vintage tag, you want to always look at the seams, right? If you're buying these pieces, you want to always look at the seams. Make sure the seams are intact. Make sure there's no scratches or damage onto the front. Yours look beautiful, like they're in it, great shape. It looks shape. pristine. Yes, it does. Yeah. How about how about some of the big names? How about names like Coach or Louis Vuitton or um, – um, Anye, right? Etienne Anye, some of those particular pieces that you typically see. You have any of those? Is, oh, well, there's Louis Vuitton. Louis? I knew you there's would find Louis. it, right? Yeah. Nice. It's, it's nice. the baby, baby Louis, isn't it? Yeah, that's very nice. So I'm sure you did your due diligence to make sure that you have a real one and not, of course, the reproduction. It's sometimes Correct. difficult to know that, but I help people identify the fake from the real also. Uh, that's a nice piece. That's a nice piece. How much do you have that one priced at? I, I have three hundred dollars. We're starting at. Okay, that's probably a little bit low for that. I would probably be upwards four fifty or so. Okay, the thing is, um, is we it know damaged? it needs. To, yes, we know it needs the zipper repaired. When you pull the zipper, it spreads still. Oh, so okay. That's, so that's need why I brought it that. down somewhere. Oh, that's probably why. Well, that makes sense. I didn't know that. That makes sense. Yeah. So, yeah, that's a very nice piece. That's a very nice piece. Wonderful. So maybe that one's in one of your display cases as opposed to next to the, you know, the other ones. But that's a very nice piece, too. Now, what's in those little, what's in those little baskets there? So we have wallets. Uh, my, my wife did the organizing here. We have some, I guess you call them wallets or uh, crutches or something. Uh, yeah, clutches. Clutches, clutches and wallets. Okay. And then um, you've got some, um, you've also got some clutch purses that have some sequins on it. So, you know, like evening yeah. bags. Oh, that's yeah. fun. That's fun. Some of them new, some of them old. Uh, okay. I believe they're all pretty old. This one is, I love this one. We have a lot of people look at this one a lot. It's got the chain, yeah. um, some, I guess, plastic jewels. Well, so why are they, they're looking at that one, but they're not buying that one. How much is it? Uh, I have fourteen ninety nine on it, and I think that's pretty reasonable. Oh my gosh! Is there a, is there a label on the inside? Uh, I believe there is. Is um. Uh, B, 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 it's French. Uh, D. Rajo, I believe. Wow! So it's B. It's, so it's it's Bijo Terre. Yeah, that fourteen ninety five is a little bit low for that. I'd go around twenty bucks on that. Twenty five. All right. Yeah. So whoever isn't that's... buying that is missing out. They don't know. <laughs> Yeah, they so. have a few hits, and they thought it was a little too pricey for them. All um, right. That works. I understand yeah. that. It depends on where you are. It depends on who's looking. But there's a lot of bling in there. There's a lot of sparkle in there. I like that. I like that. <laughs> there is. I like the sequence my stuff. They are pretty. Yeah. That's and, nice. You know, we have a matching hat to, that goes with it as well. <laughs> well, I don't I like know. To, I like to oh. wear them around the store. That I like. That I like. Now you're talking, Daniel. That I like. <laughs> there you go. Looks good on you, kid. Looks good Thanks. on you. Yeah. I always try on hats when I'm shopping. I like to try on hats. I don't look good in hats. I have a big head. I don't look good in hats, but I like to try them on. I think they're fun. That looks really good. I like yeah. that a lot. So cool. So a cool. lot of, you know, in a little wicker gardening hat. They're, yeah, they're cute. Nice. Yeah, cute. You yeah. know, good in the sun. Keep the sun off your head. You know, that's good. I like that. I like that. So, yeah. And I like the clutches. Now, that handbag on the top shelf looks like it might be blue. Looks like it might be. Yeah, that one. Yeah, this oh, one. I I that. That's mine right there. 
That's it. Navy blue. It's got a pocket for the phone. And if you have to get a credit card quickly, because you have to buy that piece of jewelry, you know, I like that. I like the sheen. I like that whole thing. Wow. The oh, thing about this too, I, it's very eccentric trying to get into it. It's like a lock, honestly. I like um, that. Fort Knox. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> It's very sturdy, yeah. very sturdy. I like that. I like the Fort Knox appeal, right? Because when yes. you walk in, everybody's looking at you. You go into lunch with that on your arm, they're all looking at you. If you're going to have a pocketbook, make sure it's a pocketbook people are going to look at. I like that piece. I like that piece. How much is that? If that's twenty nine ninety nine, Yeah, we have it at $30. Gosh, that's wonderful. That's beautiful. That's a $65 pocketbook all day, every day. Wow. Yeah, that one's really nice, really nice. Why? Vintage purses. Oh, my gosh, people love them, and they don't make them that way anymore. You know that old saying, you don't make them that way anymore. Year, but I like that one, too. I love, I love to shop, shop, shop. That's beautiful. What year could that be? Uh, maybe you got to show, right? show me a label inside. Okay. You know, there is. Typically, there is no label? There's no label that's possible. Mm -hmm. Just show me the other side if you can open it. Take your time, because if you damage it, it's not going to be worth as much, Daniel. <laughs> okay, that's great. Yeah, I would I'm say sure. that piece is going to be mid, you know, mid 60s into the 70s. Really nice. There it goes. There it goes. Yeah, and you don't want to scratch it. Got to be careful. Oh, nice. Beautiful inside. You know, you could tell that that person was probably pretty neat in their pocketbook, not like me. The insides of my pocketbooks, they're a mess. But, you know, <laughs> they are. You know, it's got, you know, a pen was in there and maybe something scratched up against it. So you don't want a stained lining either. The inside of the purse is as, is as important for value as the outside is. The outside's a little more important. The but hardware looks, appears to be brass, maybe. I don't know. It could be plated or something. Hardware's probably plated, but very nice. I like mm -hmm. that. 65 on that. I love awesome. the blue. The blue is Thank beautiful. You. The blue is beautiful. Oh, that's just wonderful. So much fun. So much fun being here with you. Wow. Thanks, Dan. Thanks, Amber. Oh, what fun we had at Fifth and Finds in Marysville, California. See you next time.